If you want to design, build, and repair electronic equipment, which I do, you need a certain number of simple tools. Soldering station, mag light, a place to work, power supply, breadboard, oscilloscope, a set of parts, signal generator. Whoops. Thanks to the smart people at Kits for Us for the inspiration. This is based on a classic two op amp square and triangle wave generator. The sign that comes out of it isn't really a sign, it's a pseudo sign created by diode shaping. Paradoxically, this is the same technique that produces distortion for electric guitar. This generator has the square and triangle wave generator at its core, then the, as I mentioned, the pseudo sign wave shaping with diodes. I've also got an output buffer because I only want one output at a time. And then I've also got uh, an audible driver. It takes a square wave and cranks it up a little bit and puts it through this little speaker so I can tune by ear. I also decided, partly because of the speaker, to implement a virtual ground using a single op amp. I decided to normalize all these outputs to two volts peak to peak. This is done with a resistor network for the square. The triangle turned out to be okay as is, and then the sign had to be amplified a bit. The output uh, impedance is 10k, and then I've got a pot to reduce the level if I need to. Assembly is on strip board, which I always find to be very quick and clean. And for trace cutting, I use this rotary tool that was on sale for $10 at Canadian Tire. It also is quicker and cleaner than other methods I've used. The switch for the audible output and the speaker itself are all simply hot glued in place. Nice grill, hey? The original design specified an LM348 op amp. Uh, I had a 324, so I used that. They're both general purpose, similar to 741, but uh, also had significant distortion, especially at high frequency. It seems this is due to low slew rate of only a half volt per microsecond. The TL074, which is an audio chip, has a slew rate of 14 volts per microsecond. It gave much better performance. There still is some distortion, but not much, and mostly only at very high frequency. This is up at the top end of 22 kilohertz. American archetype, but despite a rather familiar look to the characters, who all share that distinctive bright yellow skin and bulging eyeballs of their distant relatives, the creators maintain...